It's big Monday on the bluff. We're in the Rose City for Portland Pilot men's basketball. And tonight, the Pilots will continue their non-conference season hosting North Dakota State out of the Summit League. First time these clubs have ever met. Good evening, everybody. Van Schatz, Jen Mountain, delighted to have you with us. Jennifer, of course, former Gonzaga great. Coaching stops in the WCC as well. All right, J-Mo. Sure looks like the Pilots have turned a corner since that disappointing Seattle loss. And, you know, you look at the Bison, don't be fooled by their record because this is a young club that gets better every game. You're absolutely right. I mean, they are super young but talented and have played a really tough preseason schedule. You know, talking to a coach, it's a process. Obviously, young squad, you know, they're going to have their ups and downs. But he really likes these guys and where they're going. And I think by conference, they're going to be pretty good. So this is going to be a great test for the Pilots tonight. Andrew Morgan is one of the key veterans, if you will, for this North Dakota State Club as a sophomore. Yeah, very efficient from the field, shooting 63%. He was a finalist for Minnesota Mr. Basketball out of high school. Super skilled on the block, has a variety of different moves, averaging almost 12 and a half a game, seven rebounds, leads the team in rebounding, and he's got to be very efficient and look to score early in this game tonight. Only guy who started every game for the Bison this season. All right, keys to victory if you're North Dakota State. You got to come out and you got to be consistent and solid. Um, Coach talked about having a lot of grit. They have to guard the three point line and then rebounding on both sides of the ball is going to be really crucial. All right, let's flip uh, the script and go to the University of Portland and their home side of things. Moses Wood has been on fire as of late and super solid. Leads the team in rebounding. He's second in scoring. The shoots at a very high clip. He rebounds. He's versatile inside and out and he's terrific from the free throw line, shooting almost 84%. Almost had a triple-double the other night, really close against North Dakota. He's got to be a big factor early in the game. I agree. And if he gets going early, look out. All right, keys for the Pilots if they're going to knock off this Bison Club. Well, they got to control the pace and take care of the basketball. Limit those turnovers. Inside presence, I think, is going to be huge. They've got to have production from the big guys. Share the basketball. They've done a great job of distributing as of late and rebounding again. Offensively and defensively key. All right, we're ready to go at the Child Center. The Pilots, the Bison. Bison, like I said, meet for the first time ever. Should be a fun one. Lineups and tip next coming from the bluff. all over the University of Portland campus getting ready for the big man to come December 25th yeah that's pretty all right let's go inside the child center though we've got business to take care of Portland Pilots taking on North Dakota State the Bison out of the Summit League these two teams meeting for the first time Bison with a very active but young talented lineup Morgan the only guy that has started every single game for this North Dakota State Club Grant Nelson their go-to guy nursing an ankle injury will he play or not we'll soon find out but off the bench if he does same uh, usual suspects for Portland Robertson Perry Wood Christian Scholin and Joey St. Pierre the big guy getting the nod down low Jennifer Mountain for the pilots tonight you talked about how important it's going to be for Portland to establish its presence down low. It really is because they rely so much on the three-point line, and if they don't have production in the paint, some of those shots go away. So it's got to be a good job, or they have to do a good job of getting the ball on the block. And NDSU coming in at one and eight, having lost four straight, winless on the road, lost a tough one to Eastern Washington the other night. 
They're in their road yellow as well. The Portland Pilots at seven and four, be, uh, defeating North Dakota 90 to 69. Impressive team performance for the Pilots. Well, you get an extra look like that at the cup, and you love it if you're showing. Well, and that's what—that's really good. Getting himself to the offensive glass right off the bat. He's had times where he's been a little bit streaky. You like to see him get going early. Single coverage, nice touch inside. There's Andrew Morgan. That's going to be a huge matchup issue for Portland. Pierre's got to be way more physical with him. T. Rob floater. Joey St. Pierre missing one right at the rim. He'd love that one back. Yeah, good job on the glass. Just got to gather and finish. Quick first step off the glass. No good. T. Rob wants to run. We're at two apiece early in this first half. Pierre, single coverage, Morgan. A little flip isn't there, one and done. Not a bad look right there. Again, dumping it inside. Double There's team. the double, you bet. Scunberg. And the ball is off the hands of St. Pierre. Well, you saw Portland go to that double team right there, and I think that's going to be a real crucial uh, momentum for them defensively, making him give it up, because he's just so efficient from the field. In that last game against North Dakota, the Pilots had 52 points in the paint, J-Mo. You mentioned when they're cooking inside, this Pilot Club is tough to beat. You're absolutely right, and a lot of that is coming from Sholin, Wood, Robertson getting themselves into the paint by either creating, getting to the glass. Wheeler Thomas, a really good freshman point guard for this NDSU bunch. Stenberg wanted it inside. Now he's going to drift out to beyond the arc. One on the shot clock, has to hurry it. That's good half-court defense by the Pilots on the violation. Great defense and great job of Perry contesting that shot. Short clock, just super smart. Chilly start for both clubs. The Pilots one for five. We're stuck on two apiece. Yeah, I'd like to see them get a little bit of ball swing, side top side, get some other people some touches. T-Rob, off the pick, Wood, rimming out. Wheeler Thomas is going to trot it up. Not a single senior on this North Dakota State club. Not a single senior. Yeah, you don't see that too often. Sweet stroke. Ooh, Wheeler Thomas. First five games, you know, you just watch the growth of Wheeler Thomas, and he's looking like a veteran right now, not a freshman. Yeah, you just got to get minutes under your, you know, under your belt, and uh, he's going to do a great job for them. And coach really likes his production so far. And the longer this season goes, the better he's going to get. Three point North Dakota State lead out of the Summit League. Fade away, touch That's not shot. there. Yep. Contested all the way. Pilots, two and a half minute drought, and they turn it away. Turn it over, excuse me. Yeah, just too long of a skip pass there by Sholin. Miller loses the handle. No numbers. T Rob, long three. Ball belongs to NDSU. Portland right now is really just getting too comfortable pulling it from the three-point line short on the shots This is where you got to go back inside establish yourself or try to create off the bounce Oh of seven from the field at this point Joshua strike checking into the NDSU lineup five to two Slow slow start for the pilots frigid Vucinic on the floor for the pilots and He's had some really good minutes as of late Good block out right there by Bucinich. Big time. So that first foul is going to go on Strite, his first team's first. And you mentioned the good box out. Little things like that, J-Mo. Well, they make a big difference. And I feel like Bucinich in the last couple of weeks really has upped his game, doing the little things, playing really strong inside, real physical, which they need. Getting a bad angle from the top right there. Just forcing the issue. That ball's got to go to the wing and enter on the baseline side. Perry's barking at himself. That was a lazy pass inside. Easily deflected into the hands of a bison. 
And he's not a guy that makes too many mistakes yep. either. He's very solid. Coach on the floor. Wheeler Thomas. Good hands. Great hands by T. Rob. So there will be a timeout on the floor as Jakari White will check in when we return for North Dakota State. Five to two. North Dakota State with the lead. The Portland Pilots have been ice cold and still only trailed by three. There's a silver lining there. Come on back. Jennifer Mountain, 5-2, to two, the visiting Bison with the lead. It's early in the first half, but not a good start for Portland. No, and just the quality of shot, I think, right now. They're settling for the three-point shot. They've got to get some movement, make the defense, you know, work from the back side. But, you know, right now, they just need to get the ball inside right from the get-go. Again, North Dakota State coming in with a 1-8 and eight mark, having lost four straight, 0-5 oh on the road. Showing a lot of energy. You'd expect nothing less from the David Richmond crew. What he has done, and this is ninth year of the previous eight years, what Richmond has done with NDSU is remarkable. Yeah, just a great program. And, and like we said, this team is better than their record right now. And the preseason, you, you want to get better. You're going to play quality opponents, which they're doing. They're going on the road. They're testing these young, these young fellows. And uh, I think down the road here, they're going to be pretty good. Looks like we have a clock issue. Yep. So both teams will retreat to their respective, well, anyway, the pilots will go to their bench while the, the bison will talk amongst themselves near the free throw line. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Got it figured out now. 5-2, North Dakota State with the lead. Seven on the shot clock now. Good contested, contest. yep, I'm with you, J-Mo. Good contested shot. Miller thought he had a little more room than he did. V, oh man, the good seal and T-Rob finds him. I'll tell you what, that's exactly what they need. And again, his development over the last three weeks has just been tremendous. You didn't see that. I mean, he ran the floor, posted up super strong and just a strong, quick finish. Breaks that four minute drought. The lead is one for North Dakota State. Outside Jay, short and a chance for the Pilots going the other way to grab the lead. Cholin, smart to bring it out. T-Rob on the run. T-Rob, tough shot. Oh, man, gets it down anyway. Nice job, just kind of hanging in the air, body control. And out of that timeout, the Portland Pilots really a lot more energy and taking it a little bit more aggressive to the hole. Pilots with the lead. It's been a while since we've said that. And North Dakota State frigid from the floor, allowing Portland to get back in it. Almost a turnover, fighting for it. Skunberg, three on the shot clock. Great defense. Here comes Perry. From behind, nobody talking. Great hustle play. I love that play. That's a great, yes, great defensive hustle play for sure. Perry's got to know that he's coming. Great play by White to swipe it from behind and then keep it alive. Here come the Bison. 
Good split. Yeah, splitting the difference Good inside hands. look. How about the hands inside by Sholin and Big V? The spark that Bujanic has come off the bench and really provided has been great, defensively especially. He's just coming into his own here, I think. Hostrider on the floor for North Dakota State. And Juanse Gorosito, that dynamic playmaker, the freshman from Argentina, pull up Jay. And oh, that breaks the ice, huh? Smooth. That was smooth. Both teams getting a couple of buckets to get off the schneid and North Dakota State reclaiming the lead. Sholin says, well, thought I had action. <laughs> Well, the one thing that I don't see from Portland right now is, again, they're pulling three-point shots. People aren't crashing the offensive glass. They're just going right back to the other end. Morgan, strong. V, big V, getting a hand in Morgan's face. Good contest. He was short on that shot. Heartbreaker for Sholin, and again, nobody crashing those boards. You're one and done if you're missing from the three-point land right now. Yeah, 0 of 5 from the three-point line right now for Portland again. And it's not falling. you got to do something else. Sweet finish. There's Wheeler Thomas. Great job of just coming off that on ball. Defense went underneath. You can't do that on a shooter. Turnover. Wheeler Thomas. Double dribble. Good hands by the Pilots, but sloppy to give the Bison a chance to increase that three point edge. And Portland with four turnovers right now, two of 10 from the field haven't scored in over two minutes when you look at the portland pilots success you look at turnovers and assists yep and when they're rocking and rolling it's not just from the three-point line it's all the assists and very few turnovers great help defense by yoder who had just che checked in luke's gonna bring it up again just kind of forcing the issue there everything's on one side good board apple white Onto the floor with the good defense all the way to the rim. Officials kind of looking at each other as bodies go flying. Applewhite going hard to the cup. Foul is going to go against Morgan. His first team second. Yeah, he was kind of sliding right there at the end. Good call. Here's Applewhite. I like that, though. I like them getting getting the ball out in transition and getting it going to the rim. The lefty is so good from the free throw line. As of late November, he had hit 22 straight free throws. Well, he's provided just a little bit more athleticism, can create off the bounce, can shoot the three, but uh, really likes to get in that mid-range and get to the rim. Transfer out of Mississippi State, one of two. 9-7, to seven, North Dakota State, 12-30 left to go in the first half. An opposite start for the Pilots compared to what they did against North Dakota just the other night. Yeah, you wonder if fatigue starts to play a little bit of a nice move right there. Boy, I'm telling you, Morgan got that ball deep and just kept bumping and bumping until he basically had a layup. He has really good body control. He's strong. Another drought hurting the Pilots. Naduka onto the floor. We'll try to give this Portland club some energy. T. Rob, as the foul is going to go against Jakari White, his first team's third. Kind of a confounding start if you're a Portland Pilot fan. Slow, sluggish, some turnovers, cold shooting, and droughts. So North Dakota State leads it 11-7. Still a lot of basketball left in this one. T-Rob could get going. You know he's capable of that. Look out.
Frenchy. Michelle French in the house. One of the great, greatest ever Portland Pilot players and now on the bluff as the head coach of the Pilot women's soccer team taking them to the NCAA tournament this year. What a tremendous, tremendous season Frenchy and the Pilots had, Jennifer Mountain. Yeah, she's done a tremendous job and it's such an elite program and it, we talk about it all the time. All, all the different sports right near, now at Portland are really elevating. Scott Lakin has just done a terrific job of understanding and making that happen. Pilot men's and women's soccer teams going to the NCAA tournament. The men all the way to the Elite Eight. <laughs> Look at Chica. <laughs> Chica and Hostrider. Well, I kind of like that. That might be what Portland needs right now is to bring a little bit of energy, get a little fight in them. Just really flat this first few minutes here, last 10 minutes. A lot of droughts like we're talking about. No field goals in the last three minutes, 40 seconds. Yeah, it's been drought orama tonight for the Pilots. Yeah, multiple times, two minutes yep. without a score, three minutes without a score, and just got to find some consistency with that. Wyatt Lowell on the floor, instant offense. The other night, he just went off for 20 points. He had a terrific night of shooting the basketball, had great looks. Six on the shot clock for T-Rob. Step back, not there, one and done. It's a hard shot to guard, but just off the range there a little bit by T-Rob. Leggins trying to find a rotation that works offensively. So Chica's gonna get whistled for that foul, his first, team's first. And J-Mo, you coached at the highest level. When you start a game like this, kind of, you know, cold and trying to find yourself, do you just try to find those, those rotations? Well, he's got so much depth this year that yes, you gotta go find a rotation that's working. But I think right now that it's the quality or the type of shot that they're taking. They've got to get moving. That's a good double team right there. Good hands by Chica. Good deflection. 10 seconds on the shot clock for North Dakota State. They lead the Pilots 11 to seven. And again, this is without Grant Nelson at this point. Preseason all conference in the summit for NDSU and leads this club with the 13.6 points, but dealing with an ankle injury. Wow, Wheeler Thomas. Well, he's come out with no fear whatsoever. Nice pull there from the three-point line. Wheeler Thomas averaging a little over three a game. He's got eight, 14 to seven. The Pilots looking to end a drought that is nearing five minutes. That's not gonna do it. Yeah, that's just not a good decision right there. He had the first one, took the one dribble, step back. And again, just not getting good quality of shots right now for Portland. Two of their last 13 from the field. Good board. Look at Chica, one arm in that thing. Just the big mean on. Can the Pilots take advantage? Lowell wants the high low. That's a tough catch right there. Kind of a weird angle. But definitely had the mismatch down low. You can kind of see it up over the top and just a good job of going to the rim strong. Yeah, the other night when he went hot, it was from the three-point line. He becomes a hard matchup for a five player from the other opposing team, pulling him out to the three-point line. I think he had six on Molten Nova the other night. Yeah, he did, and, and he scored all those points, 20 points in some 18 minutes. Wholesale changes for the Pilots. Hostrider, by the way, picking up that foul. Lowell playing with a dislocated pinky on his shooting hand. That happened in the previous game against North Dakota. It's taped up. He's ready to go. Yeah, you don't need the pinky, right? That's what you say. <laughs> I mean, if you could crank out 20 points in 18 minutes, that's obviously when you're feeling it. Maybe, maybe that kind of start for a pilot can get this offense going. Yeah, for sure. And like I said, it becomes a mismatch issue for opponents because he can pull them to the three-point line. 
Wheeler Thomas pulls up on Perry, rims out. Six minute drought for the Pilots. Six minutes, yeah, and yeah. they're only down by five. You, you don't see that very often, especially with how many guys that can really score, and they got numbers here. Great North Dakota State team defense. Four guys, and I mean jailbreak into the rim, and 16 to nine, the Bison bench is up. Well, Portland right now, not shooting the ball very well. Six turnovers in the half so far. That's a bad combination. Got to get more energy. I think their defense needs to pick. They're 0 of 7 from the three-point line. Got to do something a little, a little different. Look, take somebody off the dribble, get the ball on the block, establish the inside game, and get that outside shot a little bit, you know, more open for some guys. I'm trying to think of a slower start that the Pilots have suffered this year, J-Mo. I, I don't think I've seen such a slow start at this point. And again, they have so many weapons that can shoot the ball. And when they start going, they are, they are fun to watch. But right now, just kind of not in rhythm, not a lot of flow offensively, and just defensively not great energy. 16 to 9. Boy, I'm with you on the lack of energy, and you rarely see that from a Portland Pilot Club, especially with Coach Leggins on the sideline, turnover, just going the wrong way and not reading each other is Lowell and Naduka. Well, seventh turnover in the, in the half. And right now, like, if offensively you're not getting it done, it's gotta be the defensive effort that makes the change fuel the offense a little bit by getting steals, getting things, making things happen. Long outside shot and true is Miller. Well, he pulled the trigger wow. fast on that one. Great range. And Portland finds themselves down 10 with eight minutes to go in the half. Miller, the highest recruit ever at North Dakota State, shows you why. Short on that shot. Woo, and look at Miller. Nineteen to nine, eight minutes to go in this first half. A disastrous first half at this point for the Pilots. Scunberg all the way to the rim, plucking that ball out of the air is Moses Wood, and here he comes. Good take to the rim and a good board and. You'd like to see Moses get going a little bit offensively for the Pilots. Good look from Chica. He and Moses worked that to perfection, but Naduka couldn't get it down. Yeah, that was a nice possession offensively. Good look, just didn't fall. Again, defense, I think the energy defensively has to pick up if you're Portland. Wheeler Thomas. Quick release. Perry picks up that loose ball. Rebound kind of settling there for anybody, and Perry grabs it. They're going to let Naduka take that shot. They'll lay off him there, off the pick, Wood. Good North Dakota State defense. Doing a good job of taking the three-point line away. Slip inside, Naduka reverse isn't there. Heartbreaker. Those are the shots you got to make. And yeah, eight minutes right now without scoring for Portland, and he's got to make that. That's a layup. Nice take to the cup is Gunberg, the junior. Will go to the line when we come back. Wood picks up his first, team's second. So we'll take a quick break. The long drought continues here at the Child Center. Bison leading by 10.
We've been talking about North Dakota State's head coach, David Richmond. You're getting a good look at him right there in the middle, ninth year. Eight 20-win seasons, taking the Bison to three NCAA tournaments. Just a delight to talk to. And, uh, you know, he said, J-Mo, this is the youngest team I've ever coached, and I wouldn't change anything, even with this brutal non-conference schedule. It's a part of the process, even though there's a little pain in the process. <laughs> I like the pain in the process, absolutely. And, you know, he's talked about this group developing, and he really likes what he sees. And, you know, getting, like I said, getting that preseason schedule, tough opponents, it just it's going to make them better down the road. They've already taken on 10th ranked Arkansas, number five, Kansas. My goodness. And no seniors on this North Dakota State Bison Club. Could the drought end? Yes, it finally does with Moses Wood flipping in the little hook. I like that decision. A little bit more time on the clock offensively. Moses just backing somebody down. And we all see, we've seen Portland have the ability to just go off. So, you know, to be down 10 and really the droughts that they've had and still be in the ball game, you gotta feel feel good about it. Morgan squares up on Bucinic. Good box out and rebound by T. Rob. And here's Moses. Quick flip to Jack and Wood gets it right back. T. Rob sitting on two points. That's it with 5:38 left to go in this first half, and he's chasing 1,000. And they're going to get Morgan with a foul right there. And that's going to be number two on Morgan, team's sixth. Applewhite back onto the floor for the Pilots. Skunberg checking in for North Dakota State. So this is a great opportunity with Morgan going to the bench with two fouls. I think Portland's got a big size advantage inside, and they've got to take it to them right from the get-go. Great hesitation, and one. That's T-Rob, so heady. Fakes out the defender, scores, he'll go to the line. Well, good adjustment out of that last timeout. Again, putting it on the ground, trying to get to the rim, mid-range, in the paint, and they've had success the last two times down the floor. Miller picks up his first, team seventh. Robertson will toe the line. Missing that free throw, unlike him. North Dakota State now in a little bit of a drought of their own. Haven't scored in just over three minutes. Bison still lead though by eight. And as J-Mo told you, Andrew Morgan. Good hands. On the bench with two fouls for NDSU. Swipe by the Pilots. They need to take advantage as we're getting deep into this first half. Good curl cut by Moses Wood. Wood's got a mismatch with the defender on him and is able to exploit that size length advantage. Again, super smart coming off that curl, getting into the paint. Poised shot, I like it. Pilots to within six despite poor shooting and all the droughts that Jennifer has told you about and they're still in this thing. Good switch. Seven on the shot clock for NDSU. Yoder. Beautiful look inside and the quick finish by Strike, but credit Yoder. Yeah, great job. And Puchin just did not, just missed that getting back on the switch. That ends a 3.30 drought by NDSU. Not doing themselves any favors. But still leading this one by eight. 10 on the shot clock. Squ uh, switch on the screen. T Rob inside. Bucinich off the glass. Nope, that was just a true hook, and that was in. Nice little jump hook. Yep. Four points now for Bucinich. He's come off the bench and done a nice job on both ends of the floor. No help right there. Wow, and Miller just flies in. Nothing to it. Five now for the youngster out of Texas. Applewhite's got to slide over on that and take that away man when you're chasing you can't give up layups oh nice tip love the block inside on mid-range by white and then it's north dakota state that turns it over good hands by t rob getting back boy t rob was all alone in this short corner pilots couldn't find him Vucinic spins oh pretty 
Nice spin move to the baseline and a great little finish. Again, just providing a great spark off the bench. Six now for Bucinich. Heck of a spark. He's right at his seasonal average, and he's been really the only guy offensively to show life. That and just consistency, really. I mean, right now we've seen so many people up and down doing a nice job on the block. So 25-19, North Dakota State basically leading this thing from the beginning. But Portland hanging tough late in this. There's legs, second year, boss on the sidelines at the University of Portland. He has been an absolute joy to be around, to talk to, to be a part of as far as this program. Uh, the culture that he's creating, the energy in this building, and a lot of it is due to his passion and what they're doing as a program. Coming over from Eastern Washington and leading Portland last year to its best season since 2010. You can go up and down the list of accomplishments that Portland accomplished last year, thanks to Leggins. Yeah, and just kind of rolled it right into this season. High expectations, that's what I love about him. He has really high expectations, as do the players. And this program has certainly elevated its level of play. A lot of depth, a lot of weapons. They got good recruits coming in. St. Pierre whistled for that foul, by the way. Team's fourth, Gorosito back onto the floor for the Pilots. This whole program changed when Shante Leggins took the job. The entire program shifted. Yeah, it's been fun to be a part of and Ooh, nice to, ooh, a little bit wow. of a walk there. Gotta be a walk, I yeah. think. You, you know, you gotta feel for Wheeler Thomas. It just was kind of unlucky as he was heading full steam to the cup. Yeah, did a great job of splitting the defense right there. He's very crafty, good handle, very quick. Missed most of the summer, all of the summer, most of the fall, out four months. A rod inserted into his leg, and you can tell he's just feeling more and more like himself. T-Rob slips it. St. Pierre can't get it down. Missing right at the rim two times for the Pilots. Good follow. But again, just has to go stronger to the rim on that. Those are the high percentage looks when you're chasing that you have got to hit. There's the double. Ten on the shot clock. Skunberg, long three, you bet. Good contest really by St. Pierre. He had a hand in his face. 
This is a good shot. Skunberg now with seven, gives you 11 points a game. Really a breakout year. Good job by Moses coming off that on ball. White picks up that foul, his second. More free throws for the Pilots. Well, I, I like I like what they've done the last four or five minutes of trying to get to the paint, not re relying just on the three-point shot. 18 fouls now on North Dakota State as Wood splashes home the first first free throw attempt of the night for Moses Wood. I mean, that's one thing, especially as a shooter, things aren't going well offensively. Get yourself to the free throw line, and I think they've done a nice job of transitioning in the last five minutes with that, just being smart. Clawed themselves back in the game. And it's still a seven point lead for the Bison. Defensive pressure here has to pick up. North Dakota State, three of their last field goals. Here's Strike. Seven on the shot clock for Yoder. Backs it up, flips it in and doesn't get the kind roll up towards the rim thought nice. he might get something out of that nice rebound by wood well that's the first triple for the pilots this entire game a team that gives you over 10. last minute of that first half wow that's unbelievable. A team that can really hurt opponents from beyond the arc. First triple comes with um, under a minute to go in that first half. Seven on the shot clock. Good board, Apple White. Good energy. Quality shot here for the last shot of the half. You gotta be pretty happy going into halftime at a, a one possession, possibly two possession game here. Just a breadth of a difference between game and shot clock. We're looking at seven on the shot clock right now. Good tip. Naduka. So that'll do it. The Pilots with a couple of chances to claw ever closer, but Naduka unable to get it down. So it's 28-24. North Dakota State, a team that is stronger in the second half, but will take the lead into the locker room here at halftime. 28-24, cold shooting by the Pilots, but they're only down by four. Stick around.
Tim Adams with the Bison score the free throw line as back to back misses during the second half. The free Domino's Parmesan bread bites for everyone in attendance. Domino's is a proud partner of Pilots Athletics. The U.S. Bank, Pilots Kids Club is the official bank club of junior pilot fans. Pilots Kids Club members receive a free t shirt and free admission to all games, including men's basketball versus Gonzaga and baseball. We have all been challenged and wonder, where do we go from here? Find your purpose in a welcoming community. Question assumptions and discover truths. You could join a team researching ways to prevent cancer. Immerse yourself in social justice. Challenge yourself to rise above expectations and apply your knowledge to make a living and a difference. Engage in the pursuit of education with a deeper purpose at the University of Portland. What is our way? Our way is unrelenting. Imposing as the mountaintops to our east, strong as the ocean to our west. Our way is forward, challenged by past achievement, expecting future success. Our way is committed, devoted, passionate. Our way fuels us to be different, to be inspired, to have faith in each other. What is our way? Our way is wet. Some people might call it a job. I call it a mission. Helping people get back on their way. When you're a roadside technician for AAA, every day is different. We're always ready to be there for you when your call comes in. I love seeing that smile on a member's face when you get them rolling again. It makes you feel good. At the end of the day, it's all about helping people. That's what keeps me going. Welcome back to The Bluff. We're at the University of Portland, specifically the Child Center, where, where North Dakota State leads the hometown pilots 28-24. Jennifer Mountain, it is a first half that has me thinking, what the heck and who are these guys wearing purple? Well, the, the energy just wasn't let there. I mean, defensively, especially if you're not shooting the ball very well, and we saw they had so many droughts in that first half, did not shoot the ball well from the three, which is one of their staples and kind of bread and butter. But the thing is, I just don't think there's a sense of urgency right now with these guys and just not consistent. You know, this is a Portland club that's coming off a 90 to 69 victory over North Dakota. They've been playing some great basketball, starting with the PK invite, looking like they have turned some serious corners. And this is, I'm surprised to see a team flat wearing Portland gear. I really am too. And I, again, it's just that energy level uh, is not there. The urgency is not there. And if you're not shooting the ball, well, you got to do something else. And I thought they did do a better job the last five minutes in the half. They went inside, they started to create, didn't rely on the three-point shot. I would expect Coach Legan's teams to come out with a lot more energy in this second half. Bucinich was one of the bright spots. He had the six points. And in fact, it was a 12-2 Portland Pilot advantage in the bench department. Bucinich and Applewhite, big contributors in that department. And I think that's huge, especially Bucinich coming in, getting a little bit more confident. And you can just see his game develop over the last few weeks. The numbers are not pretty if you're a pilot fan. Yeah, you look at the, especially that three-point line, one of nine rebounds, obviously pretty close there, assist to turnovers, pretty close, but it's the field goal percentage, it's the quality of shot and the type of shot that's being taken. So North Dakota State taking advantage of the Portland Pilot turnovers. And at one point, led by 12, Pilots still very, very much in this thing, only down by four. Absolutely. And again, you got to be really happy down four with the type of half that they did have. Yep. Certainly not their best performance. Not a lot of energy. And you see Vucinets coming out with a start here in the second half, which I think is huge. He's done a nice job this last three weeks being really strong. And they need point production from their bigs. So 28-24. 
a Bison club that is riding a four-game losing streak, winless on the road. And they're looking for something huge and magical to happen here in the city of Portland. Well, the, the thing that's dangerous about that is that you did have the kind of half that you did on the Portland side. These guys have confidence coming in with the lead in the second. You have to have a great first three minutes to set the tone with what's going to happen at the end of the game. So moments away from the start of the second half here at the Child Center. And second half underway. Bison with the ball, with the lead. Wheeler Thomas was terrific in that first half. Morgan playing with the two fouls. Wheels, deals, got away with the walk. Big board by Bucinic. Yeah, that, he did get away with the walk right there. And Bucinic's got to do a better job of get, not letting him get so deep in the paint. Boy, and that's what Morgan has been doing, is just setting up deep on that low block. Well, they're playing behind him, looking to double team at times. You got to go quick and make him get rid of it. He had some success, but then again, he was in foul trouble that first half, had to sit. Wheeler Thomas is with his first, team's first. Perry dumps it low. Robertson, single coverage, left hand shot, won't go down. Battling, follow up, not there. Bucinic, you bet. Good follow by T Rob and then Vucinic again on the boards, cleaning up and a good quick putback. Eight and five now for Vucinic. He has been terrific off the bench for the Pilots, getting the starting nod in this second half, 28 26. You can see Perry going to double. And they're doing a good job of making him take contested jump shots. That's what they need. Sholin off the pick. Wow. Boy, did Portland need that. And look at this. The Pilots actually lead this thing 29-28. Well, better, better energy, better flow. And again, defensively, I just feel like they're doing a better job of making them take tougher shots. Good help. 12 on the shot clock. Here's Morgan. There's the double. Quick flip, three-pointer, not there. Skunberg misses, and here comes Portland. Chance to increase the lead. Wood. Good hands, Miller. Wood's got trapped. Wood got trapped on that baseline. Yeah, it was the right idea. He had T-Rob kind of floating into this wing spot right here for the three, but just got a tip on that defensively. Good hands. 5-0 run for the Pilots to start this second half, giving Portland the lead. Chance to increase it on this possession. Perry off the pick. t rob hesitates. Really tough shot. Good defense by Miller on t rob Yeah, a little bit forced right there. Uncharacteristic. North Dakota State wanted a goaltend. Yeah. And he hit the board pretty hard. Wow. Bodies flying. Check this out. Portland very fortunate right here. Ooh. I don't blame Richmond for being cranky about that one. Yeah. T-Rob, a second half scorer. Can he get things going? He'll go to the line. Well, the thing that I love about him, right now he's 2 of 10 from the field. Not shooting it great. So if you're not shooting it great, you got to do something else, and that's what he did right there, taking it, taking the body, and getting himself to the free throw line. That's a great scores mentality right there. Miller's second, team's second. T-Rob leads the United States in made free throws. Jinxed him. Well, he hasn't been shooting it well from the line tonight. 0 for 2, and that's, you know, when you see him make 24 of 22 against Portland State, you think the guy doesn't miss. He's 0 for 2 tonight. And you cannot blame that one on me. <laughs> okay. Redeem himself. Yeah. All right, T-Rob again chasing that 1,000-point career mark. Came into this game needing 19. He's got five. Air ball, North Dakota State. Here comes Perry. Good 
Good movement. Vucinic. Remember, Morgan's playing with two fouls. Good job by T-Rob. Really did a nice job of anticipating where that ball was going to come off on the weak side. Gets the O board, gets the foul. And that's three on Hostrider. So he's got three. Morgan has got two. And they don't have a lot of depth on that bench. And it'll be Morgan, the one sitting down. Hostrider stays on the floor. Good job of Christian coming off that down screen. Nice little mid-range jumper. Seven points now for Sholin. Portland just has such better flow offensively, patient on offense. More guys are getting touches, and their defensive energy has been much better in this beginning of the second half. Terrific defense by Wood to cut off Miller. Nine on the shot clock. Much more energy on the defensive end by the Pilots, to your point. Tough shot and good stick by Skunberg. Boy, did NDSU need that. He's got nine. Good job of being patient themselves. Two-point game. Inside look and one. Big V just getting better before our very eyes. Well, his aggressiveness to the rim has just been phenomenal. Nice little spin, quick spin move, and a good job of just getting to the rim and kissing it off the glass. Second on strike, fourth team foul. Vucinic looking at 10 points now and five boards. Coming off 10, eight and five against North Dakota. Not able to complete the three-point play, but Wood does a great job of keeping the ball alive, but the Pilots turn it over. That was unfortunate. Good tip by Moses Wood, and Christian just couldn't keep it, keep it together without going on the sideline. Naduka back in the game for the Pilots here. Pilots four of their last five. Starting this first half just the way you dialed it up, J-Mo. Hot first half, scoring, good first half defensively, or excuse me, started the second half defensively as well. Yeah, both sides have been so much better, and that's too easy to look right there. We talked so about Miller, their defense, they gotta get out and close out the three. Miller wide open and knocks down the three. The freshman, ooh, wanted to take the charge, gets back up to play the D. North Dakota State only trailing by one now. And they're going to get Moses yep. Wood for an offensive foul. That's his second. So actually, that's Moses' first. And that's good news. We'll go to a quick media timeout as the Pilots record their first foul of the half. Good look by the youngster. Miller splashes home that three. Wide open.
34-33, the Pilots leading North Dakota State. 15-34 left in this second half. Strong start of the second half for the Pilots. Yeah, and it started with their defensive energy, shooting 57% from the field, getting quality shots. 3-0 boards, just a better complete package by the Pilots. Wheeler Thomas was so hot to start this game. It's been a long time since he has found the bottom of the net. Yeah, I think from the 10-32 mark in that first half, and there's a good steal right there by Miller. Miller's going to fly in and lay it home. Boy, you can see why they are so high on this kid. 10 points now for Miller right at his seasonal average. Coach's kid, mom's a softball coach, Division One softball coach. Big stick by Sholin. What an answer by Christian. He'll go to the line to try to complete the three-point play. And Sholin's done a nice job here. Great little spin move, great hang time, good finish. He's done a nice job of getting himself involved offensively here in the first six minutes. Completely takes advantage of the mismatch and goes up strong against Wheeler Thomas, who picks up his second foul. Team's fifth. Three-point play for Sholin. Eight points now for Christian. Make it nine. Lead is two again for the Pilots. Boy, all alone and by himself was Strite, and North Dakota State didn't find him for the layup. Yeah, they had Naduka on the high hedge and just had so far to get back. Just missed him on the block. Seven on the shot clock. T. Rob's going to pick up that foul, his first team second. Yeah, that's unfortunate. They had him low in the shot clock right there. Just a little too handsy. So here's Yoder off the high pick. For a second, the angle he thought was there for the roll, but thought twice, spinning. Seven on the shot clock. Nothing there for Miller. Good contest by Naduka right there. Good defense. And again, I really feel like the energy that Portland has come out on the defensive end, much better in this second half. Pilots looking to add to that two-point cushion. Wood hawked by White. Backing a smaller player down and leaving it for T-Rob. Just not his night at the moment, rimming out. Great offensive work on the boards by the Pilots. And that's Moses Wood again, anticipating the miss, going to get it. Sholin loses the handle. Here comes Yoder. Skunberg. Oh, what a finish by Skunberg. Well done, Bowden. Great reverse. 11 points now for Skunberg. We're tied at 37 apiece. One and done. Again, just a little bit of a drought by Portland offensively. There's that look you were talking about off that screen. Skunberg, 10 on the shot clock. Going against T-Rob. Oh, great. Wow! Back-to-back -back oh, buckets by Skunberg. Athletic. Acrobatic. He's 13. Got, yeah, that was a great athletic pivot move. Big bucket for woo Christian Sholin now with 13. And the Pilots reclaim the lead. Huge triple for Christian. Corner pocket right in front of the bench. Jack Perry finds his buddy. Christian buries it.
you look at Christian Scholen, he's got the 13 points, including two triples, just hit a big one. And you gotta love the game of Bowden Scunberg. He's had two of the more acrobatic, high-flying buckets of this game. Just great footwork, pivots, great quick release. And we've seen Christian Scholand at times this year have streaks where all of a sudden he's got a quick nine points in a matter of a couple minutes. And that's certainly what Portland needed from him the second half. Good, Good. hands forcing the turnover. Here comes Scholand. Uh-oh, look out. Slow down. Wanze almost loses it. Gorosito on the floor. Applewhite off the bench. Very, very solid for the Pilots. A little lazy with that pass as White got in the passing lane. Well, the bench has done a great job for the Pilots tonight. Right now, the top three scorers, nine of 25 from the field. Poke checked away. Flying in. Wheeler Thomas. Oh, baby, and that Bison bench is going nuts. Silly foul by Gorosito, and Wheeler Thomas has a chance to complete the three-point play. Yeah, just a little bit of inexperience right here. You gotta let this one go and not pick up a cheap foul and put him to the free throw line. Great finish by Wheeler Thomas. All right, so when we come back, the youngster, the freshman out of Elgin, Illinois, will have a chance to complete the three-point play. Right now, NDSU has the slim lead. Wheeler Thomas with the poke check. J-Mo, does he walk? Oh, Lord have mercy, does he ever? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh little NBA. Oh, baby. The officials missed one there. No, that's CYO stuff right there. <laughs> yes. Wow. All right, he's still going to the line. They counted it. That was one, two, three, four, five steps. <laughs> but this kid has had a terrific game. Terrific game. Very quick, poised. Can't oh. complete the three-point play, so 41-40. Bison with the lead, just under 12 to go. Wheeler Thomas with 10. Four off tying his career high. A little hesitation, and Big V gets it down. 12 now. Nice little jump hook, left hand. And right now, I think the next three minutes of this half are crucial for Portland. You got to extend this lead. Good hands by Gorzito. Good find. Christian takes a look back at Hostrider and says, you got three fouls. You got to let me go. Uh, he has the ability to get points up so fast. He's so explosive. And going back to my point earlier, this, this next few minutes, I think, is huge for Portland to extend this lead. 15 now for Sholin. Morgan hesitates. Deep again. He'll go to the line and one. And he's chirping. 
He's got great body control. Strong, he's long. Vucinic. Nice find in transition and a great finish. It sure was, and on the other end, Vucinic picks up the foul, and Morgan will go to the line to try to complete the three-point play. Vucinic goes to the line, excuse me, Morgan goes to the line more than anybody else for the Bison. He completes the three-point play. The one thing about Morgan, you know, you saw them kind of go to the double in that first half a little bit. Now he's going one-on-one -on -one and scoring very efficiently. Six, shoots 63% from the field. I like the double team action. Gorosito. Gorosito getting really frustrated with the, the body and the hands. Got to be able to play through it. So, Wheeler Thomas picks up his third. He thought he had the swipe. Sixth team foul. 44 apiece, 10-48 left to go in a low scoring but entertaining game. Vucinic backing Morgan down. Ah, got real deep. Nice little jump hook. That's the one he just made a minute ago. Yep, front rim and off. So a chance for the Bison to take the lead. Back and forth we go in this second half. Energy level a lot better for the Pilots. And the foul is going to go against Sholin. His first, team's fifth. A great little battle inside with Vucinic and Morgan. Morgan, the sophomore out of Minnesota. Skilled around the rim, anticipates the double each and every time, and really can go to town if you don't double team him. Whoa. Oh. Wow, so the blocking foul is gonna go against Vucinic. That's his second. That's a tough call right there, kind of a loose ball. He's in the restricted circle, but he didn't have offensive possession right there, so that's a tough one. Boy, the ball was definitely up for grabs. Yeah. Nobody had possession, so Vucinic with his second foul, team's sixth. North Dakota State working it around the perimeter, looking to reclaim the lead. Quick hands, Gorosito. Oh, wow. Backboard still shaking. Wow. Yeah, the ball. <laughs> Leggins is hot. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how that's not called. So Wheeler Thomas picks up his fourth, but check this out. The Pilots wanted a goaltend, I believe, on Morgan. And then the foul is going to go against Wheeler Thomas. That's number four on the freshman. Get another angle at it. Yeah, he hit the board pretty wow. hard. You could hear the slap. And see the shake. And really heads up play by Moses Wood of following that and getting the two points off the free throw line with the putback, or with the foul, excuse me. 46, 44, nine and seven for Wood. Yoder can't get it home. Morgan battling, and Vucinic isn't able to corral it. It'll be the Bison ball. It was a good effort. He just didn't put enough body in the first blockout situation. Got pushed under a little bit. Floater short, ball up for grabs. Good, good hands by White. Wow, another and one chance. Morgan is feeling it. Really impressed with this guy and the way that he can finish. So Vucinic now has three fouls. The Pilots have seven team fouls, and Morgan back at the line. He has been impressive.
So now 10 points for Andrew Morgan. Sixth double figure game of the season for the sophomore. Bison with the one point lead, 9.15 left to go. Tough three by Gorosito, back rim and off. Yeah, Love the came, hustle. Came off that off, on, wasn't on balance on that shot. Floating. Morgan squaring up this time. Ooh, whoa, and the charge is gonna go against Morgan. That is his third. Great defense inside by Bucinich, who anticipated the spin. Really smart heads up play, anticipated it, just like you said, took it to the chest, and that's a big foul right there. He's been tremendous for them in the last few minutes, been the point producer. Having him having to go out with foul trouble is gonna hurt them. So Hostrider has three, Morgan has three for the Bison. Remember, Wheeler Thomas has four for NDSU. Well, if you're Portland right here, 0 of 4 from the field, got to get a quality possession. Two and a half minute drought. T Rob. Boy, he's been frustrated tonight, hasn't he? Yeah, just not his normal self offensively. That's one he normally does not miss. He got great position down low, little bunny that he'd like to have back. Yoder with the foul, Robertson. Again, who comes into this game leading the United States in made free throws. Been a little chilly from the charity stripe by his standards. He's been a little chilly from the, the perimeter. Well, yeah, you're right. Just not, him, not himself tonight. The thing about it, there's 841. I guarantee you he'll be, he'll, he'll be a difference maker in this game. Seven points now despite the frigid shooting. Nine rebounds and four assists for T-Rob. And his two tosses giving Portland the one-point edge. Good ball movement. Skunberg with four on the shot clock. Sweeping shot off the glass, not there. T-Rob saves it. Good job by Applewhite of getting hands on that board. Ten boards now for T-Rob. Ball fake, spin. Boy, that's really good defense by Miller. Really good defense on T-Rob by the youngster. Yeah, I think he passed up a couple opportunities right there on the pivots. I think he had a shot earlier in that sequence. Robertson, who leads this club with 16 points a pop, ice cold from the floor. And Portland still leads by one, but not for long. Three ball, Miller, he's got 13. Portland really struggling, almost four minutes without a field goal. Gorosito, step back, tough shot, back rim and off, one and done. Yoder wants to walk it up. You kind of see them doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one again, offensively. When they were having success, they had ball movement, they shared touches. Great take right there. Good board by Naduka. Here comes Gorosito. Didn't have the numbers, looking for a cutter, is gonna leave it for Wood. Wood draws the foul. Skunberg got him. That's his first team's 10th. 50 to 48, North Dakota State with the two-point edge over the Pilots, a Portland team that averages 82 points a game. Right now, it's low scoring, and they're in it. This is going to be a great finish. I can just feel it. Come on back.
6.48 left to go in this game. North Dakota State, the visiting Bison, leading Portland 50 to 48. Moses Wood has been a little chilly. He and T-Rob usually scintillating from the floor, but Moses Wood has a chance to go into double figures yet again. Yeah, the two of them combined four of 20 from the field. But finding a way to get to the free throw line, you'd like to see your veterans do that. Smart. Double figures again. 10 points now for Moses Wood. Double figures 10 times this season. He has been Mr. Consistency in that respect. Just a tremendous score inside out. Very versatile. Great on the boards. Fifty apiece, 625 left to go in this game. T Rob with the ball fake. And now he'll look for Perry. High low, Sholin goes to get it and has the mismatch against Gunberg and makes him pay. That was a great offensive possession. Side top side movement. Got the mismatch in the high low. 17. Uh oh, let's, let's see what, what uh, this is all about, but let's take a look at this play. They're calling a technical on the bench. Wow. Technical foul on the Portland bench. So the technical is going to go against the, pi against the pilot bench. Lost in that fact is the Sholin bucket. That ends the five-minute drought as Skunberg makes the free throw. And in a game like this, points are at a premium. So Skunberg has a chance at 80% from the free throw line to tie it up. He does. Well, that's just unfortunate. They're still kind of dumbfounded about what they're even getting called for the technical on. 18 fouls now against the Pilots. Both teams getting nicked with a lot of personal fouls. Yoder cut off. Plenty of time on the shot clock for White and company. Yeah, Portland in the double bonus the rest of the game. Wild shot by Miller. T-Rob takes the pick. The roll is Naduka. Picks up the dribble, kind of lost the handle. Morgan back on the floor for North Dakota State. Perry. Whoa, what a stick for Jack. I'll tell you, that was huge right there. And he's a guy that just is so solid, always in the right place. Coach on the floor, and that's a big three. Hopefully sparks Portland to get going here offensively. First shot of the game, first points of the game, and it's a huge three for the veteran Perry. High, low, Morgan. Can he answer? Look at that block inside, but they're going to call a foul on Wood. Wood picks up his third personal. The folks here thought it was all ball. Instead, Morgan will go to the line. But how about Perry's three ball? Big shot right there. And, and you can kind of get a look here. Oh, that's oh man, that hurts. Oh, boy, does that hurt. <laughs> Rimming out is Morgan. Perry's triple was a rare three-pointer for a club that usually makes a living from distance, J-Mo. Yeah, I mean, that's been their bread and butter, and they have so many guys that can really shoot it well from the three-point line. But that was a timely one, and one they really needed. Portland, four for 14 from beyond the arc. And really, three of them coming in this second half. As of maybe the last three minutes, have finally started to hit a couple. Pilots up by a deuce. 4.50 left to go in this game. 
Wood looking for a cutter, and now he floats to the basket. Bucinic into the chest, short. Good defense by Strite. Here comes NDSU. Great defense. Held his ground, made him make a tough shot. Where he really did. They went chest to chest. Strite won that battle. And there is a huge bucket by White. Ends a big drought. And North Dakota State goes back on top, 56-55. White with his first points of the game, but timely ones at that. T-Rob short. Bucinic stripped from behind. North Dakota State playing the D. Energy level from North Dakota State has really picked up in the last couple minutes. White, who was so cold the first five games from beyond the arc, the last three he has been scintillating, and that last three giving North Dakota State the lead. Well, a very gritty ball club. He talked about playing with grit. Ooh, nice ooh, take right Miller, there Miller had to go up and over and did, and he's got 15. Do the pilots have an answer? Six nothing, Bison run. A lot of time left, don't need to panic. Nope, ton of time left. T-Rob with a little real estate. Oh my goodness, I... I don't know what to say. That was a great look. Basket just didn't want it. Yeah, almost wanted to drop in and out. Yep, circled the wagons and then came out. Now, if you're Portland, you got to have a stop right here. Big defensive possession. So timeout on the floor with just under three minutes to go. It's a three-point lead for a North Dakota State club that is 0-5 on the road, having lost four straight. Could they post the upset? Let's come back and see. at the highest recruit ever at North Dakota State to Javis Miller had that broken toe missed three to four weeks and I'm telling you this freshman out of Texas looks like a veteran he's been terrific he sure has 50 percent three of six from the three-point line six of 11 and really just kind of taken over here on the offensive end for North Dakota State six on the shot clock for white Good defense. Big stop by the Pilots. They needed that. Haven't scored for over two and a half minutes. Droughts have really been a big part of the story tonight. Wood came off that pick. Short on the shot. Look at Skunberg just 
throwing Naduka to the map. That doesn't happen very often. No. And this crowd at the Child Center has gotten quiet. Still plenty of time left. One possession lead for the Bison. Bison doing a nice job of using clock a little bit here. Miller stepping back. Miller! What a stick from the freshman. 17 points now for Miller. Big shot right there. That was a contested look. 20 is his career high, and T-Rob much needed bucket. Nine points now for T-Rob. Got to have a defensive stop if you're the pilots. T-Rob already with the 11 boards. The nine points, three for 16 from the floor. Yeah, it just hasn't had an offensive night like normal. But again, just a skilled player, and he'll make big plays here at the end. Um, wow, Miller possession. thought that was down. Yeah, it looked good, too, from where I was at. That was a big miss. Three-point lead, North Dakota State. Buck 10 left to go. Wood stepping into the three. Can't get it home. Ball is loose. Bodies flying. North Dakota State with the ball. Oh, boy. I think Wood thought that was down. It looked pretty good, and he had great, you know, footwork coming off for the shot. That's a shot that he can hit. One of their last seven from the field right now. You got a minute left in this game, a one possession game. There's a look at it. That's a great on balance looking three. Just fell a little bit short. Got to have a defensive stop right here. And then again, you don't have to shoot the three. You got a minute left. You can got You got a quality shot is what you need more than anything. Pilots are four for 15 from beyond the arc. The fewest threes made by the pilots coming into tonight, six. And yikes, right now, saddled with butt four. Four for 15. Again, this is a team that gives you nearly 11 triples a game, scores 82 points per. Playing great basketball after the PK night invitational. And then walloping North Dakota, but the Bison came to play tonight. This game's still in the balance. One minute to go. Pilots need a stop. Pull up. Big Tough stick. Shot. How about the freshman for this Bison Club? Wheeler Thomas in double figures. T-Rob with the three. That's off. Wow. You have got to tip your hat to the youngsters on this North Dakota State Club. Nary a senior on the bunch. And with 32 seconds left, the Bison will go to the line with the five-point lead. Yeah, they've come in, played with a lot of confidence, a lot of grit, like we talked about. That's one of the things they pride themselves on. And, you know, he talked about the youthfulness of this group and just getting better and better and Portland just hasn't responded. Skunberg, an 80% free throw shooter. Perfect from the free throw line. This is a big one. It makes it a three possession game. Five for five. Make it six for six. Skunberg has been terrific. 17 points, two off of matching his career high. To go along with nine rebounds, that's a career high for Skunberg. Very efficient, did a nice job on both ends of the floor. They're on a 12 to two run. Wow, wow. You stop and, and, and look at North Dakota State during these last couple of minutes, and they've done everything right on both ends. They sure have. That run was in four and a half minutes. They've played great defense. They've rebounded and done a nice job offensively of getting quality shots and just taking it right at Portland. They're going to come with a little pressure here to slow them down. Smart with the 32 seconds left in the game. And for Portland, you got to go quick. All right, that's big. Now we get interesting. 64-60 as Wood hits the absolute must three ball. 
13 points now and the first triple for Moses. Well, if you're Portland, you got to do a great job of defending this out of bounds. Try to go for a steal. You don't get it. It's a quick foul. Send them to the free throw line. They are in the double bonus, but you got to do everything you can to get a quick one right here. Team's fifth three-pointer, and boy, did the Pilots need that one. Wood, with the 13 points, gives you about 13 and a half a game. Yeah, he's almost at his average, but just a little bit again, didn't shoot the ball very well all game long. And has the ability to go off for 20, 30 points, depending on the night. Well, you don't want to put everything on Wood and Robertson, but they're six for 27 between them from the floor. And that rarely happens. Yeah. All right. Here we go. 25 seconds left to go. Folks wanted to travel. There's the trap. There's the trap. Jump, jump ball. ball. Possession arrow. Ooh, baby, belonging to the pilots. Wow. Really nice job. And if you're Miller, you do not want to get stuck in the corner on that baseline. Did a great job, Portland did, of getting that trap and getting a jump ball. Possession goes to the pilots. Now you do not need a three. Not with 20.6 seconds left. Get a good look, but get it quick. It's got to be quick. Wood wants it. Sholin diving to the bucket and a slam. Skunberg, he's been hot from the free throw line. The pilots wanted to travel, but instead, Skunberg will go to the charity stripe with 14.3 left. He's six for six. Well, it was close. Oh, the great job on the inbounds by the pilots here, but. Looked like they got away with a little bit of a walk. You got to hope for one miss here from Skunberg. The junior has been perfect. Now he is seven for seven. Legs just got to kind of ice him here. Get organized for this rebound. Skunberg sitting on 18. If he hits this next free throw, that will tie his career high. He already has set a new career high with the nine rebounds. It's interesting because Richmond has been challenging him to take good quality shots. He's done just that, has Skunberg tonight. And here you see Portland doing a great job again, getting him on that baseline with this trap. Chica doing a nice job of getting his hands in there and creating that jump ball. Skunberg is going to love this game if it plays out in the Bison's favor. Career highs in terms of free throws made and rebounds and nearing a career high in terms of tying that if he hits this next free throw. A miss gives Portland some serious life. It really does, and 14 seconds is a lot of time on the clock. If it's a make, they've got to go super quick and again, try to get a quick one and then pick up, try to get a steal or a foul. I mean, you got to foul the guy with the ball, and unfortunately for the Pilots, it was Skunberg. That's the last guy they wanted to foul in this situation, him being so hot from the charity stripe. Yeah, North Dakota State being smart of making sure he had it you in his You betcha, hands. you betcha. All right, so coming out of the timeout, one coming. Whoa, big miss. Portland's got life. Moses for the tying three. He had a good look at it. Portland got exactly what it wanted. Skunberg missing that free throw and Wood getting a great look, but not getting it home. Yeah, that was a great job getting, you know, getting the miss off the free throw. Good look and transition. That's a shot he can make. Strikes first free throws. The Pilots need some luck here. Okay. Boy, he stiff-armed that one. All right, with 5.9 left, that's a lot of time for the Pilots well, to get one, down the floor. Number one, you got to have a block out right here. Uh, Offensive rebound. Oh, baby, Skunberg breaks the Pilots' hearts. That was huge. Oh, man, Pilots getting exactly what they wanted again. And Skunberg at 6'5", 
sneaks in for the rebound off the missed free throw. Cardinal sin. Yeah, that's just unfortunate right there. Wow. He's had himself the night. Boy, he has 19 now. That ties a career high. And that probably ends this ball game. The Pilots just couldn't take advantage of opportunities. And Skunberg now with the career high 20 points, a career high 10 rebounds. And that'll do it. Dave Richmond says he just wants the opportunity to go into the locker room and celebrate a victory that validates the effort. He got that tonight for North Dakota State. Absolutely. Gritty effort on the road. They've been, you know, chipping away, chipping away, and trying to get better. And really, I thought they dictated from the get-go the pace, the energy level, and had some guys really step up in some great performances individually. And on the pilot side, you've got to be disappointed with this setback after the momentum they've created since that PK night invitational. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Ann. I mean, they've had great momentum, people playing well, sharing the basketball, just not their typical self tonight. And I just didn't feel like they had energy today defensively, especially really flat. I thought they did a better job coming out of halftime, but did not have a very efficient offensive night from a lot of people. NDSU with nary a senior on the club, Freshman doing the job. Skunberg, the junior, taking him down the stretch. How about some numbers? Well, you look at stats. I mean, they shot 40, almost 44% from the field. Pilots really struggling, like we talked about. Did a nice job closing the gap there, you know, on the rebounding end. But uh, turnovers, pretty even. But really, it just came down to offensive efficiency from the three and from the field. And, and NDSU did a great job of especially making plays late in the game. So when you look at the pilot schedule, they will remain at home, taking on New Orleans in a rematch of the basketball classic last year, and then on the road for a couple. Yeah, big games. And, and really, this New Orleans game, I think, is a, a big bounce back opportunity. You got to learn from today. But really, they're going to be able to take a look at this film, look at some issues that they, you know, I thought Vucinic came in and did a great job. He was a bright spot for me. But really, just got to get better looks on the offensive end. And that New Orleans game is going to be a big bounce back opportunity. All right, that's a wrap from the Child Center. North Dakota State taking care of Portland 67 62. Gritty win for the Bison. They snap that four game skid and post their first victory on the road. Hats off to the young pups. For Jennifer Mountain and our entire broadcast crew, I'm Ann Schott saying so long from the bluff. Thanks for kicking off your week with us. Looking forward to seeing you Saturday. Women's and men's double dip. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy. Have a great week, everybody.